Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm Dr. Gunjan Goel, uh, faculty Billmet, and uh, today we are uh, with Dr. A. B. Vani for some quick recaps. So, sir, welcome. Thank you. And uh, now we'll ask some common questions which are asked by our viewers, like. Uh, what are the quick point pointers to diagnose endometriosis sonographically? Uh, now, see, ma'am, uh, when we talk about the endometriosis, we have to uh, make ourselves understand what we are talking of. Mm -hmm. We are talking of an uh, endometrium which is implanted ectopically, mm -hmm. ectopically where in ovary. Mm -hmm. Now, here we have to understand that this endometrioma is harmonically connected with main endometrium. Hmm. It means that whenever the endometrium will grow, hmm. will shed, hmm. this will also grow and hmm. this will also try to shed. Hmm. I'm using what right, try to shed out. Hmm. But there is no way out directly because hmm. that endometrioma is somewhere in ovary. Hmm. So keep these points in your mind because these points are very important. Now, hmm. when I say these are uh, this harm these are harmonically related it means that whenever the endometrium will grow mm -hmm. this endometrioma will also grow Obviously. what it means it means that if somebody has uh, scanned uh, and diagnosed a uh, diagnosed and cyst over there with mm -hmm. a coiry endometrioma and you are today scanning mm -hmm. when i say today i mean that after some uh, five mm -hmm. days six days you are seeing an uh, increase a dramatical mm -hmm. increase in the size mm -hmm. or even decrease in the size of the previous cyst. Hmm. It means that you are on right track. Because. This is giving you a green signal to go ahead. Hmm. It means that you are dealing with nothing but an endometrioma. Hmm. So size do matter here. So first point is the size. So if size is increasing over right or even decreasing, that is going in favor of endometrioma. Now coming to the ecogenicity. Now when I say ecogenicity, ecogenicity will also vary. Hmm. Sometimes it will show me a more of hyperechoic and sometimes it will show me a less of ecogenicity. Hmm. It means that the varying ecogenicity hmm. is also going in favor of an endometrioma. endometrioma. So previously, if you are thinking of this to be a, some other cyst, maybe hmm. a dermoid, anyth anything, maybe a hemorrhagic cyst, hmm. but it is showing me the variation in the ecogenicity. So number Two is the variation in the ecogenicity yeah. of the cystic lesion. Mm. And you have to correlate it clinically very, very, very important. Mm. If pain is dull and persistent, that is not going in favor of endometrioma. Mm. But if it is cyclic, mm. cyclic, that is going in uh, favor of endometrioma. So these were um, some uh, quick uh, pointers, pointers uh, where you can say that I am on right track, I am dealing with an endometrioma. Uh, so very well explained and uh, stay tuned for uh, our next sessions and next podcast for and uh, more doubt clear clearing in the next podcast. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.